After Canelo's dominant victory over Jaime Munguia, weirdly enough, I saw it once and I had the fight close. I got to watch it again because most people said I was crazy. But either way, he got the win. That can't be disputed. Rumors now are flooding the airways of Canelo versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Apparently, Turkey Al Sheik has stepped in. He's going to put up the money. He's going to make the risk worth it for, for Canelo, who initially says Crawford's too small. I get no credit if I beat him. Of course, Crawford wants to go up three-way classes and, and become possibly the greatest fighter of all time if he can dethrone Canelo. So let's look at each of these guys sparring separate people to get an idea of what might happen when these guys, if and when, Canelo versus Bud Crawford actually do square off. All right, here's Canelo wearing the powder blue headgear. Ooh, nice jab by Canelo. And the yellow gloves, yellow cup against an opponent. I'm not sure who it is. You guys let me know if you recognize him. All right, there's Canelo waiting. Two jabs land. His opponent is visibly taller. Looks, this is a recent clip of Canelo sparring. He's clearly super middleweight here. Another jab landed. There's Canelo with the classic earmuff defense, high guard. Inviting his opponent to throw. Oh, there's his opponent throws a couple of nice shots. Straight right. Very Bivolis here, keeping his range. And Canelo doesn't even bother throwing back because he knows he's out of range. Ooh, there Canelo gets mad. He's hitting his gloves. He eats a straight right. There he picks off. Now Canelo's trying to... Now with this guy's where Canelo wants him to be. Nice uppercut. Ooh, nice combo. Ooh, nice hook. Ooh. Ooh, nice uppercut that missed. Nice straight right. All right, let's see that again. Uppercut, and then Canelo dips away from the left hand, and then throws an uppercut, two body shots, and a hard uppercut. Nice combination punch, punch uh, placement. And then his opponent lands a straight right. Canelo again, high guards him, baits him in. There, high guard. Now this is a bad place for the opponent to be. Oh, put up your hands, your opponent drops his hands. Ooh, Canelo, the hard body shot. Hard, going to the body, and a nice counter by the opponent. All right, now the opponent's dancing away, probably felt the power. Ooh, Canelo, the hard shot to the arms. All right, here's another clip. That one was short. This is from a few years ago. Canelo's a little lighter there. You can see Canelo's in the gold head gear. Uh, clips of him are sparse, so I had to mix a couple together. He's fighting a taller opponent, as you can see, relative, uh, way taller. And Canelo, again, on the ropes waiting. He loves inviting guys to come in. He likes countering. All right, Canelo's waiting, waiting. He's circling around here. Oh, he switched southpaw for a second there. Now he's back to conventional. There again, high guarding, baiting his opponent to come in. Now the opponent throws a, ooh, a nice jab. Canelo, so these guys look like they're going a little light. The guy's not throwing very hard and Canelo's punch wasn't very hard as opposed to the, the initial clip we just saw. Canelo was trying to take that guy's head off in the previous clip. All right, there's the guy's being very tentative. I guess he doesn't, he's worried about what Canelo's gonna throw back. Ooh, nice. And then nice couple, let's see this again. He throws a one-two to the body, throws a hook, spins, and then hits Canelo with a nice overhand right. See, the angle right there is what lit, let that last shot land. Canelo was surprised by the angle of that shot. Beautifully done by this opponent, who, again, I don't know who he is. Tell me if you know in the comments. All right, so now the opponent is chasing him down. Canelo's jabbing at him. Jabbing at him. Canelo's moving. Canelo does a lot of putting his back on the ropes. I think it's he plays possum. This is a trap. Canelo's big for setting traps because he knows he has the power to end the fight or switch the tie to the fight with one shot. All right, I'm not a fan of this camera angle here. We don't really see what's happening. All right, there we go. It's back to a little bit of a better view. There's Canelo again, hands up, just letting the... Ooh, nice counter stress. See that again. Right there, his opponent throws two tap jabs and third tap jab. And then Canelo waits for the, th the third one to come and then he hits him with a straight right. Kind of like Tank Davis for Santa Cruz. Three's a charm. Third time's a charm, as they say. Canelo counters after the third time. Something is repeated. There's another straight right. Lead by Canelo. There's another straight. So Canelo, ooh, see now Canelo. Let's see this again. There, this Now he's waiting for the opponent to jab, and Canelo does the same thing. Boom. And he, he, he counters beautifully after his opponent's done with the combination. He's found a home for that straight, left, uh, straight right. Excuse me. All right, Canelo's waiting again against the ropes. This, the opponent's jabbing. Tapping jabs, tapping body shots. And Canelo springs out and throws a nice combination and spins off. Ooh, Canelo, a little showboat. Distracting with his hand and then throwing a punch with that same hand. Nice jab, and then he gets jabbed right back by the taller opponent. And his opponent is now fighting Southpaw. Right, throws a body, throws a couple combinations. Canelo tries to react, respond, but he misses. 
right now. They're just working here, guys. This is definitely not a hard sparring session. But we're getting an idea of how Canelo moves. A nice straight left lands by his opponent. Uh, he's tapping the jab again. Ooh, an uppercut that misses. You see, there's not much, much heat on those shots by his opponent. I don't know if he can't hit hard or if he's just going light. Looks like he's going light. All right. His opponent is a southpaw, as we just determined. Which Bud Crawford would also fight southpaw. So this gives us a nice, ooh, nice straight right lead. That's why Canelo's throwing those straight right leads. Because as you guys know, it's kryptonite southpaws. And Bud's both, but he fights a lot of times southpaw when he's fighting a conventional fighter. He likes giving him that element of surprise and confusion. All right. And that ends that sparring. All right, here we go. There's Bud Crawford back to you in the green camo, and he is sparring, I believe, Carlos Adamas. Ooh, and they're going at it right now. They're going at it right off jump, you can see. There, they're glove to glove. Ooh, nice. There, you see Bud throw a couple tap shots of the distract, tap, 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 and then he really turns his shoulder into that body shot at the end. Beautiful done, doesn't it? Ooh, and a nice response by Carlos. Nice response. He's getting around Bud's high guard. The punches are going around it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Bud hits him with a nice shot, wobbles him. Ooh, Bud hits him again. Beautifully done. Ooh, nice body shot by Adamas. See this again, guys. Bud gets hit, and then he counters back with a straight right and a jab. Bud is fighting, I don't know, southpaw here, excuse me. There, Bud hits him with a right hook, and then ducks, and then holds. And here we go, Bud again, gets hit with two body shots. Beautiful, beautiful work. A lot of, ooh, nice hook. Let's see that again. The uppercut misses and Bud counters with a hard overhand left from the southpaw stance. Ooh, you, know, you hear the guys in the background screaming. This is my hometown and Gleason's baby. Ooh, nice duck. Nice defense by Bud. We ducked under that shot. And then he hit him again with a nice overhand left. All right, so Bud is staying close now. Ooh, nice counter by Adamas on Bud. But Bud's keeping a pretty tight guard here. Now, this, ooh, nice hook landed by Adamas. And Bud shakes his head. No, see that again. Boom, Adamas lands a nice left hook. And then a right hand. And then Bud is shaking his head. No. Psychological warfare. Bud is tremendous at that. That punch definitely landed. Ooh, another left hook landed on Bud. And an uppercut landed on Bud. Bud is just taking it. Another right, another left, another right, another left. Then Bud finally fires back. And then he gets hit again with a, a hook, an uppercut. Oh, and then Bud hits him with a nice hook back. Shh, let's see this again. Bud hits him with two. Look how short that uppercut and that hook was. In a, and a straight left. Straight right, excuse me. That wobbled Adamus back a little bit. All right, now they're chest to chest. This is Bud getting that work in. This would be a Canelo fight. But Canelo hits way harder than Adamus, obviously. Ooh, nice left hook by Adamus. There, Bud picks off that straight right. So Bud is doing some pretty good. Oh, a nice uppercut there. Ooh, hard left hook by Adamus. And Bud puts his hand. Let's see that again. Uppercut by Adamus and a hard left hook. And there you see Bud drop his hands. More psychological warfare. Like, that didn't bother me. That didn't hurt me. Marvin Hagler tactics right there. Ooh, shoulder bumps. And Adamus gets Bud on. Ooh, hits him with a hard straight right. And then straight right to the body. And then another hook. And Bud picked off the hook, but not the straight punches. All right, now Cardamus is getting... Ooh, Adamus gets wobbled by a hard... Let's see that again. Adamus gets all all gassed from the success and then boom a hard overhand left short crisp turned it right over oh another hard exchange let's see that again they both land straight rights and straight lefts oh and the crowd's going crazy at gleason's in brooklyn my hometown baby oh nice nice hooks and finishes with an uppercut by adamas oh and bud finishes off with a couple hooks that get through there, Adamus is able to hit through Bud's guard. Hits it and knocks his guard out the way when he lands. There, Bud spins off. Body work by Adamus. There, Bud's starting to move. Now we're starting to see some defense. Look at that. Nice Mayweather-esque rolling. But, but, ooh, nice counter by Bud. Straight left counter. Another straight left lead. Another left uppercut. Bud's finding a home with those lefts. Because of the southpaw stance he's in. Ooh, nice up, uppercut to the body by Bud. So Bud will take a punch to give one no problem because he throws those hard, short, crisp punches, and he punches downward, generating maximum torque and leverage. Ooh, nice body shot by Bud. Crowd goes crazy. Ooh, nice straight left leads by Bud. Ooh, nice defense by Bud. He ducks out the way. There we go. Now Bud's throwing these short, crisp shots. He has Adamus false sense of security. He thinks he has him on the ropes. Ooh, Adamus lands a hard straight right there, though. 
Ooh, another hard straight right. Body shot by Adamas. Hook by Adamas. There, Bud puts his hands down again. Said, you, you can't hurt me, and comes back. Bud lulls him into a false sense of security in the, against the ropes, with his back against ropes, and tees off on him with his short, crisp counter punching. Ooh, Adamas with a couple hard punches, which look most, mostly blocked. Bud with a hard uppercut counter. Bud dipped to the side and threw that uppercut counter to hit him at an angle. All right, we didn't see what happened there. We don't see what's happening here because of the camera angle. Nice hard counter by Bud, though. Makes Adamas hit his gloves. Nice hard counter. The, the crowd is going crazy. Let's see that again, guys. So Bud hits him with a hard counter, makes Adamas wobble back, gets him pissed, hits his gloves, and he starts again. This man, nothing better than having uh, NYC crowd. Ooh, nice lead right. And then Bud ducks the left. Bud's hands are, both guys' hands down. Both guys are peacocking right now. This is what happens in real sparring. That ends around. This is what this 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 is a proven thing. Why I tell you guys when people say sparring's just sparring, did that look like just sparring you? Those guys were going all out. The only difference in something like this would be if one of them was wobbled visibly or went. The other guy would just step back. You don't try and finish guys in sparring, but you definitely try and get to the point where you have to step back. That's the difference. That concluded that spar. So we watched two clips of Canelo. Obviously the second clip, Canelo was going a little lighter. He was a little younger there. But in the first clip, we got a great idea of what might happen if he fought Bud. He was in there with somebody his own size, even though Bud's not his own size, but he was in there more importantly with somebody who was aggressive and was going at him and had good punch placement. And we saw what Canelo would look like in the pocket. Now this is assuming Bud would fight in the pocket. We saw that Canelo is big on putting his back against the ropes and waiting for his opponents to engage so he can counter. Canelo knows he has the show-stopping power to change the tide of the fight or put the lights out at the drop of a dime. So we saw nothing new. We saw Canelo is a sharp counterpuncher. He's very patient. He has a sustained body attack, and he's one of the hardest punchers pound for pound in the game. Canelo did look vulnerable to straight punches, and he also looked vulnerable to high volume work rates. Just like Bivol did, same in this sparring. When guys are coming at him and when they're throwing a lot of punches and especially if they're able to step away and get out of his range and stay out of his range, which by the way, Crawford does have, I think, two or three inch uh, advantage in reach, even though they're the same height, could be plausible. Now here you see Bud Crawford engaging in a high octane brawl. He's fighting a world-class fighter. Now the difference is here, of course, Carlos Adamas was around Crawford's weight. Canelo will be naturally a bigger man. It's debatable how much bigger he'll be because you're dealing with walk around weights and, and night of the fight weigh-ins, but it's safe to say that Canelo is more like a pit bull body. Even though they're the same height, Canelo is shorter and stockier. And finally, will Bud Crawford sit in the pocket? Because conventional wisdom says that sitting in the pocket with Canelo will likely lead to your quick demise. Or will Bud do what he's pretty much known for overall through his career is a balance. Sit in the pocket at spurts, but mostly box, download the information, and do what is working. Million dollar question, what wins? Canelo's size and power or Bud Crawford's slickness and high IQ? Who do you guys think will win if Canelo and Bud Crawford square off for the Undisputed Middleweight Championship? Tell me in the comments.